Keep telling the truth, then they might keep leaving me like, say less. Well, we strategize about how we gonna take over the shell fist market. Childish Cambino can't be there. Kanye can't be there. Why? Because pillow talk is a mother. How could I ever leave yeah. to have a mother? Bill Cosby, Kanye, and Childish Gambino, white coochie lovers. The black man's fetish for the white woman is probably the best example that we can show you how much we are in love with our oppressor. Said, if a black man marries a white woman, that's right. He's just basically doing that because he wants to be white himself. Of course. Can you speak on that? The white woman is the black man's validation tool. The white woman is what makes the black man feel like he's equal to the white man. The white woman is what makes the black man uh, get rid of his inferiority complex. Now, I've never been committed to a white woman before. However, I would be lying if I said I'm not attracted to him. Well, first of all, you're a man. Human nature, you might see an attractive white woman. I've seen an attractive white woman. Said, damn, she built like a sister. She look all right. I'm not going to date her, and I'm not going to sleep with her. Because your political priorities determine your personal behavior. Okay, now explain to me why I'm wrong, because I'm sleeping with her. I'll tell you why. Because okay. she belongs to the race that has oppressed your race for well over 400 years. Why do I want to sleep, marry, cohabitate, or bring children in this world with a member of the race that is responsible for my people's place in this planet? So if I'm pro-black, am I anti-white? No. Being pro-black has nothing to do with being anti-white. But the reason people think that when you're pro-black, you're anti-white is because white nationalism includes racism and bigotry. When a white person says, I'm a white nationalist, an aspect of white ideology dictates that if you full white, you hate black. White nationalism is a racist ideology. Pan-African nationalism isn't racist at all. We say the white man can do whatever he want to do, but we're going to do what's best for us. Mm. We say African family first. It is the ultimate contradiction for a black man to say, I am for my people. Childish Gambino included. Mm. Childish Gambino. I don't give a damn how many videos you make about racism in America. Uh -huh. When you're done making that video, you take your ass home to a white woman and that's who you sleep with. So you're not loyal to us. You're not committed to us. You are faking the funk. I a real black man will be with a black woman. I seen that's him period, say, point blank. I seen him say that he couldn't be with a white woman. What you mean he couldn't be with a white woman? I seen, him in, the, a white I seen woman. him in the interview say that he's not with a white woman. That He, he got children with the white woman. I what understand. I'm just telling you what he just, this was just like a week ago. He said he has to be with someone who's racist like him, who he can talk to, who understands the problems he feels. So why he a, got babies with the white this girl? This is a quote from Childish Gambino. But he got I, the baby with the white girl. It's all over the internet. I can't explain it. You only got the babies with the white girl? I seen him so with a white baby. This, this is a good segue because we were talking in the break. I wanted to talk about Kanye a little bit. Yeah, that was my next one. All right, yeah, okay. All right, Kanye West recently said a bunch of interesting things, all right? I personally disagree with some of them, but one thing I did agree with was the, the free thinking aspect of it. What do you think you about say? that? Wait, what was it? What was he the, said that America needs to uh, be more independent in, in their thinking. They need to have more free thinkers. Okay, we need more free thinkers. So then my question for Kanye West, if you're such a free thinker, why is your hair dyed blonde? If you're such a free thinker, <laughs> are you an African woman? If you're such a free thinker, but in hell have you Chicago your hometown as a millionaire? See, my issue is Kanye West needs to manifest what he's talking about. But see, I've always had an issue with black entertainers being our spokespersons. Are you aware we're the only people whose entertainers are their spokespersons? Mm. We're the only people whose athletes and entertainers are our spokespersons, which is ironic. Why? Because the black athlete and the black entertainer is normally the most coonish member of the community. Their whole life is dictated by white folks. Okay. When we looked at the Colin Kaepernick protest, mm -hmm. okay, which I think was probably one of the most cowardly uh, uh, incidents in the black community. In which I saw Ray Lewis, Deion Sanders, who was my favorite football player act like whom you know, bar, act like when we asked what kind of did they say a brother did a job right. because we say when black folks what they said oh he made a mistake he should apologize michael vick said he should cut his hair so he can be more appealing these are the biggest strongest black men in the community and they're also the most cowardly wow so wait so going back to the kanye and childish mm -hmm. so you take a black man who is with a white woman 
can black men who are married to or have babies with white women do good for the black community? Can a black man who is married to or have babies with a white woman do good? They can do some good, but they can never be part of the ultimate good because they're part of the ultimate problem. Love of one's oppressor. Mm. So Kanye and Childish Cambino, they might come build an institution for the community. They might do some charitable event for the community. But at the end of the day, they're not ready to say that all white people are racist because they're sleeping with them. And in order for black people to come out of our quagmire, we must all be able to admit unapologetically that all white people are racist. Because as long as you make an exception, you allow infiltration into the movement. They so, can be of some good. They can never be of ultimate good. So if so if they can do some good, when we're looking at like the levels of goodness, okay, then where do we as black people say, okay, Childish Gambino, you can offer something good to us? Do we reject no. what he's offering? If Childish Gambino wants to do something in the hood, you let him do it. You never stop any black person from doing something that's useful. But when we go into a meeting room like this and we're about to strategize how we're about to take over the politics of Cleveland. We're about to strategize how we're going to corner the hotel market in Cleveland. We're about to strategize how we're going to take over the produce industry in Cleveland. When we strategize about how we're going to take over the shellfish market in the state of Ohio, Childish Cambino can't be there. Why? Kanye can't be there. Why? Because Pillow Talk is a mother. Pillow and when they go home real. at night, they sleep on a bed with a member of the enemy scamp. And in that free speech, and while they digging up in her white stale cookies, they're going to release some of the secrets that we discussed in this meeting. And that's why they can never be part of the ultimate good. Choose who you want to stand with. We got to stop letting black people think you can talk black and live white. The mm. struggle is not part-time. This is a full-time struggle. So what we want to do is spend eight Eight hours with black folks with the fist up and then you want to spend the other 18 hours with white folks sleeping with them not at all you are with us or you are against us there is no middle ground so what you're saying is that there is no what i'm hearing from that is that if we're looking at the table we're looking at the strategy that there is no value in a childish gambino or in a kanye west no there's some value but here's the question the value is in the let me tell you the biggest problem we got in the black community right now, unmarried single black mothers. That's one of our biggest problems. The black woman is less likely to get married than any other woman in America. So if you want to fix the family, fix the nation, fix the community, you got to do something about that situation. Word up. So Childish Gambino walks into a room with a hundred black boys. A hundred black boys with a white wife. How in the hell does he tell them that they have an obligation to black women when he doesn't even demonstrate an obligation to black women? You see, it's deeper than his superficial charity. It goes to what you represent and what type of example you're making for other black boys. Are you married? Not married. I will be. I have two beautiful daughters. 16 and 7. So if if the family is the greatest unit, right? It's the greatest unit. And if, and if we our role models yes. and leading by example. And if we have to sacrifice, mm -hmm. right, wouldn't that be, how, and I, I guess I don't want to ask No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, my brother, I, throw it out. But I, That's I, what we're I, here I, for. I assume you're, you know, m middle ish age. Yes, sir. You know, um, why hasn't that been a sacrifice that you have made? The reason I'm not married yet is because, number one, the Lord didn't show me the queen for me before this responsibility came on the international level. I always say every day that if I could ask God two things, my ancestors, two things. Number one, why didn't you give me a wife before you gave me this responsibility? And why didn't you give me a team of people I could trust? If I had a wife and a team of people I could trust, I know for a fact I'd be eons further than where I am now. I know a wife is necessary in order for me to com complete my mission. Mm. She's essential, but I must choose her carefully now. Because being an international personality, the women who I meet are more interested in what I am than who I am. They don't want the struggle. They want the Facebook pictures. They want the limelight. They want to sit at the dinners. They want to travel around. But they don't want the sweat and the tears. They don't want the arrest. They don't want worrying about the FBI manipulating your success. They don't want none of that. They want the bourgeois aspect of being Dr. Umar. They don't want the struggle of being Brother Ifa Tunde. And because I'm only getting married one time, won't be no divorces for me. I'm getting married one time. And so I'm going to take my time and choose my queen. I will not rush it. 
I will not rush it. But isn't that the same argument that a Kanye West would state? No, because Kanye is married to a non-African. But, 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 <laughs> okay, but, but he, hear, he, he hear, has hear committed out. himself to a woman who ain't black. And hear me out. Oh, and man. obviously, I do not know Kanye. I'm not in in his. You brain. know Kim Kardashian, don't you? <laughs> Do you know who Kim Kardashian but is? What I'm saying is that All right, then. thinking thinking of of a Kanye West, I would assume that he would make a similar argument of the fact that the people who he you know attract. I think a lot of black men say that oh I got this money I got brother, this these black women around me going. I think that we, we brother I'm a PhD. People. I work with white women every day. I went to school with them. White women are very attracted to me. Yes, they are. I even get emails from white women saying, I wish you would consider because I would love to be your queen. You understand? <laughs> but because I'm loyal to black women, there's no way I'm getting in a bed with her and there's no way she getting in a bed with me. Mm. I get what you're saying. Political principles dictate argument. personal right, let's opinion. Let's switch the topic. Let's switch the topic. I'll 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 I got a question. But right. I need you to be clear that your, pol your politics dictate your behavior. Unless you're a hypocrite. Word. Your politics, if you saw me with a white girl 10 years from now, I'm telling you right now, you call me a coon on the spot. Because there's no way you could have been talking what you talked in Cleveland 10 years ago right. and end up with a white girl now. Listen to this. The situation does not make you. It only reveals who you were to yourself all along. 